I thought Rihanna is apologizing just because she's in trouble. I think Rihanna is just apologizing because of all the scrutiny and she doesn't want that. Last time I checked, none of ya out there tore open her chest and checked her heart for that sincerity of her apology. Last time I checked. We all are upset at her. Hence, bringing her to her knees and making her apologize. That's a win. Regardless of the sincerity of the apology, that is a win right there. Way of Life SQ. Keeping it a hundred. Rihanna apologizes to Muslims. Now, if you don't know what's even happening right now, go watch this video right here so that you can understand what's taking place. Why is she even apologizing? Why does she even have to apologize? And let me tell you what this video is not going to be. This video is not going to be... Um, me, you know, getting into whether her apology is sincere or not because I can't believe that that's what we've come down to. To determine if someone's apology is sincere. I thought at face value a person's apology should be sincere. And by the way, this has nothing to do with how I feel personally about that a ritual that took place. I'm, I'm of personally of the opinion that it was a satanic ritual. And that's going to be a separate video that I'm going to make. And this is off of my experience of almost marrying a satanist. Uh, personally, so I'm kind of aware of what they were doing, but that's gonna be a separate video, okay? This video is not to be like, oh, oh, yeah, she was wrong for what she. That's not what it's about. It's about talking about the matter at hand and giving you two specific examples. But before we give you those examples, just letting you know that quizzing strangers for an iPad, quizzing strangers about Islam for an iPad video will be released very, very soon, probably by this weekend. Stay tuned for that. You don't want to miss that social experiment. It's really, really dope. And we had a lot of fun doing it and gave a lot of da'wah to non-Muslims as well. So stay tuned for that. Let's jump into this video. Now, um, a lot of you would look at this apology from Rihanna and I've posted it right here. And uh, you could pause it to view the apology and read it in, in its complete uh, entity a lot of you were just like oh she knew oh she she didn't uh, she knew oh oh they knew don't bro it's called doom and the hadith that they're using is about the day of judgment or the end of times of doom bro it's a coincidence no it's planned i'm not denying that it's planned or not that's going to be a separate video Okay, but I want to practice this idea of assuming the best. Okay, assumption meaning to to think or to make a decision without having all the facts. Okay, I'm going to practice assuming the best in Rihanna, and here's why and how I'm going to practice that. Not why, mostly how. Okay, uh, because of the fact that she's doing all these things. Right, she probably has managers who. Or responsible for setting up everything and choreography. Like, she didn't go in the dance studio and tell people how to dance. She didn't. She didn't do that. You know what I mean? She. She was just the brand, right? And there's managers, there's planners, and all these things. Now, am I suggesting they didn't know? No, that's going to be in a separate video. Am I suggesting the uh, producer didn't know of the song that was made in 2017, Doom? Um, I'm not suggesting that. That's going to be a separate video. I'm talking about the moment at hand. Let's accept her apology at face value. That's what I'm saying right now. Um, maybe she genuinely didn't know. Maybe the people who was organizing, she has to fire some people for what they just did. Right? Or maybe it was a ritual, which is going to be a separate video. Okay, Rihanna performs or participates in a satanic ritual. That's going to be a separate video, so please stay tuned for that one video. I'm talking about the sincerity of her apology. So there's two points right now. The first point is the following. Uh, the messenger saw some had sent some companions on expedition uh, to a land, okay, for a fight. And upon that fight, a companion had overpowered a non-Muslim at that time. And about the time he was about to kill him, I think some of you know this already, about the time when he was about to kill him, the person bore witness and took the shahada. They said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Companion is about to stab him. He just took a shahada. Okay. The companion stabbed him, killed him, finished him. The companion then felt that they needed to tell the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam about what just happened. Okay, so they go to the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, did he say the shahada and did you still kill him? And listen to what the companion said. The companion said, yes, messenger of Allah. Yeah, Rasulullah, of course. Yeah, that's what I did, right? I thought he took the shahada because of the fear of death or the weapon. Fair, right? 
I thought Rihanna is apologizing just because she's in trouble. I think Rihanna is just apologizing because of all the scrutiny. She doesn't want that. Okay. The messenger saw some proceeded to ask, Did you tear open his chest and check his heart to see the sincerity? That was designed as a point because we know that's not really possible. But this was the point that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was making. Oh, brother, we need to judge by what's apparent. What's more apparent than that? Have you ever thought that maybe you're not applying the hadiths and narrations and the teaching of the Quran correctly? You ever thought of that one? No, that's too far-fetched to imagine, right? Because some of you out there are just so perfect. Oh, we're not allowed to make mistakes at all. I'm, by the way, I plan on making that satanic ritual video uh, thing and even sort of this one. Now, this one was planned yesterday because when I made the video yesterday, immediately I found out that after the video, she had did her apology. So I figured I'll do that today. You know, but I've read your comments. I saw that, you know, there's a lot of people who feel like this is planned, this and that. And I will make a video about that. And they gave me some foresight that, you know what, I should speak about that perspective too. But some of you are just like thinking as if everything is conspiracy. I'm not suggesting it wasn't a satanic ritual. I'm just saying that you've watched one too many videos, okay? I've watched them too, but you sort of need to tone it down a little bit and start actually taking things at face value. She apologized. Last time I checked, none of ya out there tore open her chest and checked her heart for that sincerity of her apology. Last time I checked. Okay. The next and final point I want to make that I'm going to wrap up this video, inshallah. That point is, friends, that when Muslims collectively come together, collectively put away their differences, collectively fight the same battle, collectively as upset together, when Muslims are joining hand in hand and they are all upset, meaning by, by, by the same thing, we all were peeved off by this. It's wrong, it's nasty. It wasn't the, the, the Sunnis or the Salafis or the Shias or the Wahhabis or the... We all were peed off. Okay. When we were all fighting the same battle together, we can bring down people to their knees. Why did this apology even happen, huh? Have you thought of that? The reason it happened is because we are upset at her. Collectively, not like two people, like two million people, two billion people. We all are upset at her. Hence, bringing her to her knees and making her apologize. That's a win. Regardless of the sincerity of the apology, that is a win right there. And we have to appreciate, celebrate that. That's a win right there. But imagine if we felt all felt the same way. Right? And what, what, what if I told you about another satanic ritual? Let me tell you about a satanic ritual. Okay. Basically, they take women and children, right? And while they're sleeping, okay, as, as an act of worship, as a sacrifice, they come and they kill the women and children in their sleep. Okay? When women and children are going about their day, men, kids are going to school, people attack and kill them. That's another satanic ritual. It's called Syria. It's, it's happening everywhere. If we all are so upset together collectively about what's happening in Syria, collectively, let's focus on an issue a month maybe, and collectively get upset at that, maybe changes will get made. But some of us think that it's not okay. Some of us, what about Palestine? Okay, let's help out Palestine. Some of y'all won't even go to Masjid Aqsa because some of you are of the opinion that, oh, no, 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 no. If you go to Palestine, that means you're accepting Israel as a country. That's haram. Wallahi, they have our land. That's our land, you ignorant people out there. That masjid is ours. That is sacred to us. I will swim across the ocean if I have to get there over there, but my head is going to touch that place. Why? Because that is our land. It's our sacred place. It belongs to us. But we're too busy over here arguing with each other. That's the problem. When we, we learn lessons from this, guys, that when we collectively put aside our problems, put aside our issues, and collectively get upset or come together for a just common cause, changes can be made. And this was an example and proof by concept that changes can be made. Guys, I appreciate you watching this. This video was a short one. I hope you guys benefited from this. And, um... Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Tell me in the comment section below your thoughts about the entire thing. Uh, that satanic video ritual thing is going to be coming out too, so stay tuned for that. Love you all for the sake of Allah. Hmm. Am I missing anything? No, stay tuned for that social experiment though, right? Uh, quizzing strangers about Islam for an iPad.
watch that. That's going to be dope. But until next time, I'm out.